Hello everyone, welcome in part two of this series of video tutorials about Rigacar. My name is David from digicreatures.net. In the previous video, I showed you how to create this animation rig. And in this video, I would like to show you the different parts of this rig and also explain to you how to adjust this rig to fit the model. But let's start by reviewing the animation widgets. Animation widgets are grouped by color. The first group is the blue one for the main widgets. Here we have the root widget, which is the main widget to rotate and move your model around your scene. Notice the rotation point for this widget is around the back axle. It turns out to be the best center point for this widget and uh, you will realize that when you will animate your model turning right or left. The other blue uh, widget is the drift widget which is a cool widget because you can animate car chase or thing like that. The yellow group is for dampers and suspension. We have one damper per each wheel and each damper is moving along the local z-axis and controls the position of the body. And the main suspension uh, widget is designed to pitch and roll the body of your model. You can also move the body up or down. This widget is really interesting if you want to create the feeling of a kinetic force when the car brakes or accelerates. The green widgets are for the wheels. Here we have the steering that controls the front wheels and for each pair of wheels we have a wheel widget which can be used to rotate the wheels but I can also even scale it down. What for? Uh, you will see in a future video it is used to control the brakes when uh, Riga car animates automatically the rotation of the wheels. Oh yes, by the way, uh, you will soon discover that you will probably do not use the green widgets often because Riga car can animate automatically the wheels for you. And the last group, the red one, is for the ground sensors. Ground sensors should be used to detect the interaction between the model and the object that represents the ground in the scene. You will learn how to use them in the next video. There is one ground sensor per wheel. And we have also one ground sensor for the front axle and one ground sensor for the back axle. Ground sensors are only moving along the local z-axis. The bone for this rig are dispatched among several armature layers. If we take a look at the different layers, uh, we can go to the armature tab and in the skeleton section you see we have layer 1, 2, 3, 4, which are displayed by default. Each of these layers is associated with a group of color. Layer 1 is for the blue widgets. Layer 2 is for the, green, the yellow widgets. Layer 3 is for the green widgets. And layer 4 is for the red widgets. This way we can easily display or hide a group of widgets. 
Layers on the left side are for the animators, but layer on the right side are for the riggers. Layer 14. Layer 14 seems to display all the animation widgets. You will see in a minute it is not entirely true. Uh, the purpose of this layer is to help us adjusting the position of the animation widgets to fit the model. Layer 15. Layer 15 displays all the major mechanical bones. This layer is useful if you are a rigger and you want to extend the generated rig to add your own bones. For instance, if you want to rig uh, the doors or the steering wheel, you can go to edit mode, add your own bone. For instance, imagine I would like to create uh, bones to animate the steering wheel. And once my bones are ready, I can parent them to uh, the corresponding mechanical bone. For instance, here we have this bone, which is MCH hyphen body. It is the main mechanical bone for the body. So each bones which are supposed to animate objects or parts of the body should be parented to this mechanical bone. So I right click select on my new bone, shift right click select on this MCH hyphen body bone and press Ctrl P, keep offset to parent my new bone to this bone. Now, if I move my new bone on layer one, I have added my new bone, which is completely integrated into the rig. So layer 15 is uh, really interesting if you want to extend the original uh, rig generated by Rigacore. Layer 16. Layer 16 contains the original deformation bones uh, created when we have added the deformation rig. If for any reason you need to parent again objects from your model to bones, you can display this layer and do the necessary operation. We have here, for instance, the death hyphen body originally added when we have created the deformation bone, deformation rig. And uh, finally, layer 32 displayed all mechanical bones. Uh, this layer is of no interest except if you want to fully understand how the rig works and what happens under the hood. Normally you should not display uh, this layer. Now we can try to adjust widgets to fit the model. I have just mentioned earlier the layer 14 this one. This layer is precisely dedicated for this task. And don't be fooled by what you see. It seems we have the original animation rig here, but it is not the case. If I go back to layer one, and if I select uh, this widget, you see at the bottom left of my screen, that the corresponding bone selected is root. But if I go back to layer 14 and select the same widget, I actually 
select the bone named SHP iPhone root. If you are used to create rig with Blender and to define custom shape for the bones, uh, you will understand easily how this works. If you have no knowledge on this topic, it is not an issue. All you have to remember is that uh, if you want to adjust the position of the widgets, go to layer 14, select the widget, go to edit mode, and move the associated bone to the right position. So here, for instance, I can select all the ground sensors for the wheels, go to edit mode, check that my pivot point is around the 3D cursor, click on S, X to scale the bones on the x-axis and now the animation widgets are fairly in the right position. I can continue by moving this widget and this widget. I can move them closely to the car, uh, like this. I can also scale the position, oops, scale the position of the dampers to move them closely to the model, but not too much, like this. Uh, I can also move the steering widget and the drift widget. Like this. And about the suspension widget, I can move it backward and moving it up and now everything is okay for me. Then uh, you can also scale up or down the animation widgets. Uh, this operation should not be done in layer 14. This layer is only to adjust the position of the widgets. So I go back to layer 1, 2, 3, 4. I disable layer 14. And I select uh, the widget I want to scale. Uh, for instance, I want to scale down the ground sensor for the wheel. I have to go to the tab panel, scroll down, and here in the display section, I have this scale factor, and I can scale down the widgets. This is the good size for me, so I can copy this value and pasted it for the other ground sensors widgets. I can also, for instance, scale up, not so much, scale up the steering, scale down the drift and for the root bone hmm it seems that the root bone is not correctly uh, located so I can quickly go back 
to layer 14, select the widget, go in edit mode, move it a little bit forward, not so much. Mm -hmm. Here it is. And now I can go back to uh, layer 1, 2, 3, 4, select the root bone, go to the bone tab and scale it down. Now I have the final rig. I would like to show you other parameters available to tweak that rig. Uh, these parameters are for the animators and depends on the kind of animation you want to do. Uh, if I go back to the properties panel by pressing N, in the section car rig, we have these two sliders. Suspension fact and suspension rolling fact. What are they made for? Uh, actually, they control how the body is moving when we move the damper widgets. If, for instance, uh, I select these two dampers and I go crazy, moving them up. I can change the value of the suspension factor. Which is a value between 0 and 1 to indicate the influence of the dampers over the pitch of the body. So, of course, if I put 0, it means that the damper is deactivated and the movement of the wheel has no influence over the body of the model. If you want to animate some cartoonish model, maybe you should try a value between 0.5 and 1. But for a realistic car, you should probably go under 0.5. Let's try with 0.2 and be kind when moving up uh, these animation widgets. The other factor, the suspension rolling factor, uh, has exactly the same effects but over the roll of the body. So here, for instance, if I go down, of course, with zero, the damper has no influence over the body. And I can go crazy over 0.5. and you have an in, a much more uh, influence over the rolling of the body. So let's try, for instance, uh, point 0.2 also for uh, this parameter. And let's finish with the ground sensors. When I select uh, ground sensors, you can see that the car rig panel on the right is extended with additional properties. You have here uh, the ground, 
which will allow me to select a mesh in my scene which represents the ground. But let's put this aside for the next video. Uh, if I select a ground sensor for the wheels, uh, you also see these sliders, min Z and max Z for each ground sensor. Oh, and by the way, uh, these values are just a quick way to access information from constraints on the bone. Uh, for instance, uh, if I select this ground sensor and I go to Constraint tab for the bone, you see a stack of constraints. And here we have a shrink wrap constraints and this uh, object selector is actually the same as this one. And for the min z and max z value, there are in fact these values from the limit location constraint. So uh, for instance, if I change a value here, you can see that it will change the value there. So, anyway, uh, ground sensors are not supposed to be uh, directly animated, but to interact with the ground of the scene. And to prevent a weird effect uh, like this, for instance, or this. Uh, the wheel can go too high or too low. You should adjust the maximum Z and minimum Z acceptable for this model. So, for instance, I can go up and decrease this value until an acceptable position. And this value seems nice. I can do exactly, oh, not this one. Let me just display the ground sensors. And I can go back and adjust by incremented this value. Hmm. Let me reset, yes. All the widgets. So let's start again. Hmm. Okay. Pull down this value. Uh, point two seems okay. And here. Okay. Yes, it should be nice. So for this model, uh, front wheel should move from minus 0.04 to 0.02. So I can just select, shift right click select the other ground sensor for the front wheels and just copy paste the values and for the back wheels uh, maybe I should try the same values as the front wheels and let me check if it's okay yes it seems to be uh, the good, the good values 
also for the back wheels. So I can right click select to select the other uh, ground sensors for the back wheels and uh, copy paste the values. Okay, and now that is done. We can start animating this model. So in the next video, I will show you how to follow a path uh, using Rigacar. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.